St. Louis is unbelievably blessed to have such a large Bosnian population. It's thought to be the largest Bosnian population outside of Bosnia. Most of the Bosnians who live here in St. Louis, in fact nearly all of them, came here because of the war and genocide that were perpetrated in Bosnia between 1992 and 1995. They've had a tremendously positive impact on this area, and not just economically but culturally. Uh, they bring new life to our city. And they remind us about so much of what it means to be human, especially when we consider the tragic circumstances that caused so many Bosnians to come to St. Louis over the past 20 years. Hmm. I think I want to say that it's very important to not think that we are different the day uh, when my mother made a, a, a last quote-unquote bread. Like after that we didn't have nothing in the house. Not a single drop of ever, anything. Nothing. And uh, there, there was no way to, to get anything. Like there was nothing. Like we, we attempted to plant something around our house, but our house was built from uh, uh, bricks, red bricks that during the building of a house, a lot of that brick sort of turned into dust and went to that land and there was nothing. Like you, if you plant potato, uh, when, when the time comes, like you, it would flourish, like you would see the leaves, you will see everything. But when you go out to dig it out, it's smaller than you actually put it in. So nothing could like actually uh, succeed there. And uh, we, we get to that point that there was really, really nothing else. There was nothing. There was no help coming in. Nothing. Nothing. That one day, I know we got that close. Uh, that day after that, my aunt showed up on her bike and she brought in a little bit of food. And then later on, um, I, I remember a few days later, my brother returned from uh, from the front lines and he brought in uh, basically his military bag full of food as well. Our family, you know, we talk back and forth sometimes, you know, they told us we were, you know, in a internment camp one time and, you know, and, you know, it's really nasty and dangerous and, you know, a lot of people died while we were there and, you know, and me and my sister and our friends, you know, were the lucky ones. And od jedne moje kolonije uzeli su djevojčicu koja je bila vrsnica sa mojom čerkom, ali je bila malo kao razvijenija od nje. Uh, from one of my neighbors, they took a girl that was same age like my girl, but she was just a little more developed. Yeah, developed. Yeah, developed. Yeah. Yeah. Tako, iz tog logora je odvedeno oko stotinu mladi žena i djevojaka. From that camp it was taken hundreds of young girls and women. And I think my dad told me that like one time they um they dug a tunnels to go under to get uh under the airport. There were like there was a tunnel to go and get stuff like food. Um uh, I remember sitting on my couch in a living room early morning, like pre, pre, uh, before the sun, sunrise, and I, I'm looking at the uh, exchange of fire between uh, two militaries, and they would use the, the bullet that light up. Mm -hmm. So you would literally see how they fly from one part or the other. And I was looking at the church tower when Bosnian army, there was a sniper uh, on the church tower, and they were hitting uh, part by part of the church tower until they leveled it completely to get the, the sniper out. I, I watched that in my eyes early, early morning of night. I think it was the first uh, quarter of, of 1993. That entire neighborhood got taken out and we're talking about these are old Zvarnik families and this is the oldest part of the town. And um, so we're talking about all these very well-educated young men. These were people barely in their 30s. Uh, um, they've taken so much that day from that town. It was. Bio među nama jedan Srbijanac 
it was one Ser Serbian man from Zarubi. Serbia. He was imprisoned with us. Because he didn't want to beat prisoners. And he was treated as the same as others. He was beaten. The worst thing that we can do is forget about things or act like they didn't happen. You, you just can't do that. You can't do it to people who lost their lives. You can't do that to people who lost everything. Yeah, you can probably do it to me because technically nothing really happened to me on a, on a scale of things that have happened to other people versus what had happened to me. Really nothing of great significance happened. I haven't lost anyone. I have We're all well and alive. And, but I do know plenty of people who have lost a lot and who are still struggling. Who are st so it's, it's a very um, hurtful thing to not acknowledge what has happened. And this wasn't a small thing. This was a very big thing. And what was it like to teach the Bosnian refugees? A pleasure. <laughs> I loved working with the Bosnians for so many reasons. Um, first, you know, they had a lot of skills. Um, excellent education system in their country. So many of them came, even if they didn't know English, they had academic skills in their bag of tricks. You know, I mean, of course, not all, but the majority. Um, they have a sense of humor that I find uh, really endearing. I think self-deprecating is too strong a word. It's more just poking fun at themselves and their own faults and, you know what I mean, just that kind of humor. Um, I told you about the Saturday field trips, and one of the things that always stuck with me was how close these couples were. You know, they had survived horrible things, and I was so inspired and struck by just, the, you know, couples holding hands on these field trips, you know, the closeness you could feel, I could feel, um, in their family units. Uh, but there's a lot more that we can sugar and then we can definitely uh, benefit St. Louis region a lot more uh, by sharing that uh, and by integrating a community here rather than just assimilating and disappearing. That brings us to the last question. Uh, as you know, we plan to keep these recordings for a very long time so that they'll mm -hmm. be a, available to future generations. And so the last question, what do you have to say to people who will be watching this 70 years from now? Um, wow. Well, this is this is the type of a message that um, it's really hard to put together uh, because it's very hard to imagine who the person that's looking at me like right now, 70 years from this date would be, you know, or is it going to be uh, someone that would have some distant relative that lived here, you know, or my own grand grand kid, you know, that's looking at it like saying hot, you know. Uh, but it's hard to, to, to say. I, I, I'm just, perhaps the best message that could be sent is that, you know, to, to review what we left behind us, review why we came here in the first place, and be aware of the reasons why we came to the States in the first place, and uh, to cherish, if they are of a Bosnian origin, to cherish that culture, uh, keep it going for as long as they are able to and to to love everyone. <laughs>